Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for another episode, uh, Keeping Up With Kent. I got my buddy Jeff, he's the owner of Jeff Heist Painting right here in Kent. Uh, Jeff, thanks for coming in. Do you mind uh, telling us a little bit about your company and what it is that you do? Sure, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, my name is Jeff Heist and I own Jeff Heist Painting. And we're located here in Kent, have been in Kent. Now it's a little bit, not necessarily convoluted, but I started as a handyman in 1994. So I'm gonna give a little bit of my, my story of becoming a painter. And then slowly grew into being a remodeling contractor. And then out of that found that almost every project needed painting. And if you can believe it, at one point I literally spoke the words, I hate painting. And then I would find myself to become a painter uh, in the early kind of 2000s, I just decided that I would focus on and specialize in painting as opposed to all the remodeling. Now, with that being said, I maintain my general contracting license and the project we're on right now, I just delivered a bunch of uh, lumber. Turns out that there was some rotted wood that we're going to take care of. Now, with that being said, we're not necessarily looking for <laughs> carpentry work. It tends to fit well while we're on a project if it comes up and it's small enough that it's difficult to get a contractor in because everyone's busy, we will do it. So because of my background, many times when we're on painting projects, there may be some handyman things or carpentry or you know little things to, to fix, maybe some mill work that comes along with it. Oh, well, that was about the briefest sort of <laughs> how I got where I, I've been, uh, that I've ever delivered. I'm just curious based on what you told me, started off as a handyman, um, so did you always know, like growing up, you wanted to work on houses, you wanted to become somebody like in, in the trade? Great question. No, <laughs> I did not know that. Uh, in fact, I went to college and got my degree in human resource management. I said while I was in college, I want to wear a suit and a tie and work in an office. And one thing I do know about myself, even to this day, is I cannot sit. I don't think I was suited, no pun intended, but suited to work in an office at a desk. It's really hard for me to sit that long. Uh, but like lots of people, uh, it just sort of happened. Uh, my wife and I, at the time, we were buying houses to flip. And I, I think you have done a couple of those. Yeah. Uh, you also may be able to attest it's not as easy as they can make it out on those infomercials. Yeah. No. Yeah, so I uh, cut my teeth on some of those. I didn't know how to do a lot of things back in the day when it was Eagle Hardware and they had brochures and I would go figure out how to do linoleum or countertops and we didn't really have YouTube as a basis to fall back on. And so by flipping houses, I learned a bunch of skills and, and uh, what I found is I enjoy working with my hands. There's a, there's a reward, a tangibleness to the the end product. I mean, even now I can drive around and neighborhoods go, oh, I painted that or, oh, I did that. or um, And so, yeah, now almost, almost 30 years later, here I am. But no, I did not, did not picture myself, you know, being a painter or a contractor. Okay. Well, 30 years, something like, you know, somewhere along the line, you made the right decision, yeah. I think. Um, you know, I know very well, like I painted my living room, for example, and that was already strenuous for me. So painting can be a tough job, um, you know, on a day to day. What what keeps you pushing forward? Like what motivates you to keep running this business? Well, like many things in life, uh, you get good at it. So it becomes your proficiency. One of the things that I ultimately learned I enjoyed about painting, even after having spoken that I hated painting, is there is a skill, there's an artistry to it. That The, the type of painting we do, particularly interior painting, uh, we paint well. We're often painting color with transitions and inside corners, the wall and the ceiling. And most people have painted, and I believe most of those people will attest it's harder than they thought, and that the it doesn't end up quite how they wanted it to be. So there is some pride in there and the skill that has been developed and being able to deliver it. Another thing I have realized that I enjoy about what I do is I'm constantly meeting new people like you. You get to, I assume you get to work with yeah. a lot of people and many of them, most, 
probably we'd love to say all, um, are people that we, nice um, people. yeah, nice people. And many of them become become friends. And the job we're on now, we've this is the fourth project that we've done for them. So there's this, this you know, recurring. Um, so a lot of it is the skill that comes with it, the enjoyment to the tangibleness of the work um, after we've completed it. And a large part of it really are the people that we meet along the way. That's, yeah, that's that's really cool, you know. Um, so we're here uh, in your hometown. You grew up in Kent. Here you are all these years later. What uh, what was it like, you know, growing up here? And what's kept you around and had you doing business here all these years? Yeah, I did grow up here. Uh, went to all schools in Kent. My children did as well. My oldest son attended his kindergarten at my um, kindergarten and his mom's for one year, and then they built a new school. Uh, yeah, why Kent? Um, I think most of us, and I keep, I have a lot of begin, I'm prefacing a lot of my answers with most of us or many of us, uh, it's a sense of community. So it is the place in which I grew up in. Uh, it is familiar. Um, I, I like it here. Uh, of course, as my business has grown, a lot of my business comes from here. It's my alma mater. You know, I drive by the schools that I attended. Um, many of my friends are here. Of course, I've developed a lot of business relationships here as well. Um, I just uh, I just had my 40th class reunion, wow. if you can believe wow. that. That's older than you are, yeah. right? <laughs> and uh, you know, there's a core group of my friends who still live here. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're definitely, you know, part of the community, known in the community. Um, you've painted, you know, hundreds, maybe thousands of houses. I don't know. Uh, is there any one particular client or experience that, you know, just stands out from, from some of the other ones? Oh, boy. Um, there are many that that kind of come to mind and for different reasons. One in particular, um, it, uh, Ray and Marty, uh, and they've since passed away. But I was referred to them by a fellow member of church. We played on softball together. He referred me to a fellow teacher. I went and worked for her and she asked me if I would go over and see if her dad would allow me to work for him because he was 84 or something at the time and still climbing up on the roof and they, they didn't like that. They wanted their dad to be around. Uh, I used to show up for work and they'd be sitting at the breakfast table and you know call me over, call me over. I'm like, but I, I, gotta, I gotta start working. But I learned that part of my being there was to sit and listen and engage and and uh, we developed a friendship, and they would often feed me lunch. They even sent things home with me for my kids whom they hadn't met. And then as they did grow older, uh, they did move out of their home into assisted living, and I was there on that day, and I helped them move. And um, So there are other stories that go with that, uh, but it, it, they, they are quite memorable in, in all the people that I've worked for. And that was in the late 90s. And their daughter, who was I was first referred to, we just worked for her the, this summer. So that has been a, a, a blessing um, and an honor at times, you know, as I realize m many relationships have been developed and there can be some years gap in between. But, you know, this, that's pushing 25 years. Uh, so, yeah, Ray and Marty are ones who stand out. Wow. I think that speaks to just... Uh obviously the quality of the work that you did and also the, your ability to, you know, create that relationship. So um, I think that's a, just an amazing story for you. Um, on a lighter note, outside of work, uh, you know, what are some things that you enjoy doing or uh, spend time with when you're not, you know, climbing ladders, painting houses? Well, I am a grandpa now, so I love spending time with my uh, my son and daughter-in-law and their their kids, my grandkids. Uh, I also am an avid uh, photographer. I love to shoot pool. I play on a pool league. I just played last night. And one of the things that I've always, that's always sort of stuck with me in as I've 
lived my years is uh, writing and and speaking, which I have done uh, and I'm doing more. I've done four talks. I don't think I've done five yet. I'm I'm working on a working on a book right now. I like oh should I give up the title? But it's uh the it it's loosely the things I think about while waiting for paint to dry, and not that I'm ever sitting around waiting for paint to dry, but uh, th these thoughts that are you know worthy of pondering. Those are a few of the things I enjoy to do outside of painting. Okay, awesome. Um, well, definitely. When your next speaking engagement comes up, you know, let us know. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'd love to um, tune in, hear, oh, what, yeah. hear those thoughts that are coming through when the sure. paint's on the wall. So, yeah. Jeff, if somebody is looking to utilize your services or wants to connect with you, what's, what's the easiest way for somebody to find you or get a hold of you? Yeah, the best way is uh, by phone or text. However, uh, that number is 206 229 six five three nine that's the best way to, okay. to get a hold of me or you could reach out to me oh, yes. i'll connect you with jeff yeah. we know we go uh pretty far back but um jeff i just really appreciate your time sharing some of your story and and uh you know telling us the things that you're passionate about so if you guys need a great painter jeff heist painting he's your guy if you as always need anything on the real estate end you can contact me but Jeff, I just want to thank you again. Um, and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to hearing more of your upcoming book and everything like that. Thank you very much. It was, a, it was fun. Uh, it was great to see you again in person. Yeah, it's been a while. And uh, thank you very much. So yeah, again, Jeff at Jeff Heiss Painting. Oh, you could email me. <laughs> Jeff at Jeff Heiss there Painting. <laughs> yeah, and Heiss is H-E-I-S-S. -S. Sure. Yeah, or my phone number, as I'd mentioned, 206 229 Six five three nine.